Oh my god. Good morning. Evening. Afternoon. It's the afternoon. Wow. Third time's a chill. I'm gonna make a cake today. As always, I like making these baking videos because they're very therapeutic to me and it gives me a reason to... a reason to bake a cake. Not that I need one. <laughs> Bowie's excited. Inspired by Bowie, actually, I'm gonna make it an orange flavored cake. Like an orange loaf bake. Because Bowie's an orange loaf. Ooh. You don't like me. I love you. And before we get going, I'm gonna make a flax egg because you guessed it, this is a vegan bake. I actually can't find my tablespoon measurement, so if anyone knows where it is, do let me know. I haven't used a teaspoon. But luckily, I know that there are three teaspoons in a tablespoon. So, let me get... Now I've put that aside for at least 15 minutes. Rest well. This morning I actually did a thing and I reused an old jar of nut butter. And now I'm storing my flour in it, yay. Yay for sustainability. <coughs> Come on, baby. We're back. I do apologize. Now, I hate to break the illusion, but I'm not just doing this off the cuff. I did test out a mini version, just so I knew that the quantities would work. I wish I could just do it on the fly, but I don't want to do a, like a huge batch and find out that it doesn't work. So last night I made a little cupcake and it's delicious. Here's your recipe. Should we do the dry or wet? It's such a weird mood today. I mean, England lost yesterday. I wouldn't say England lost. Italy won yesterday in the final of the Euros, so there's a weird atmosphere in town. Yes. And the reaction has been um, deeply unpleasant. So this is sort of a coping mechanism. Maybe I can hand out some of the loaf to local residents, try and convince them to stop being assholes. Anyway, I'm doing half a cup. Hey, I'm so jealous of babies getting to eat this all the time. Applesauce is the king for vegan baking. Oh yeah, we can always add more, but we'll start off with a conservative half a cup. Um, in the same way that you'd cream sugar and butter together, I'm gonna cream applesauce, almond butter and sugar together. So it's gonna kind of simulate that butter texture, like make a crumb. Kind of. I mean, the question is how sweet do we want it to be? Oh my God, I'm gonna regret doing that because every time I edit it back, I feel sick when my tongue appears. So I'm just gonna, is that better? We'll go half a cup again. A jar, oh my Koch Cora what? Yep. Oh my God. The strangest thing happened to me the other day. I tried peanut butter and I liked it. I hate peanut butter by the way, for context. But this one from Pippa Nut is just so ridiculously smooth. I don't know what's happening. I'm gonna go for almond butter. Give it a mix, baby. You really don't even have to stir this one that much, which is why I am a simp for Koro. They're a German brand. I talk about them all the bloody time, but I can't help it. It's like, it's a passion. Three cups of almond butter, maybe. Oh yeah. Y'all ready for this? Ooh, sugar. Nearly spilt that. There she is. There she bloody is. You know, I'd really love to be playing some music in the background, but I'd get copyright claimed. Maybe if I play really quietly, a bit of monoskin, just ever so quietly. I heard them do a cover of Somebody Told Me the other day. I didn't know they did a cover of that. My heart literally came out my mouth. I love them a dangerous amount. Okay, you ready? Look at that, magic. The way that's thickened up and gone nice and gloopy. I mean, nice is probably not the best word, but definitely gloopy. Mm. What are you gonna add now? I hear you cry. I'm gonna add some yogurt. You know how it is. Do I add a runny yogurt or a thick yogurt? I'll go runny. I'm gonna start with a quarter of a cup. If I can find that measure. Eighth of a cup. Do I have a quarter cup measure? It's bloody there. Of course it is. Bloody hell. What a mess, what a stinking mess. Wow, that's sweet. <laughs> that's really sweet. But the thing is, you always want it to be a little bit sweeter when you taste the batter because sweetness cooks out, I find. There will be some signs for that. Now this is where I will allow you to shame me for being a poorly organized baker because I don't have a zester. Um, I asked on my Instagram if I could do it with a knife and a lot of people were saying, yeah, just be careful. And then I remembered I have a razor, like a clean razor, one that I haven't used yet. That could work. Try everything once. I don't think this is gonna work. No, I'll peel it. This is gonna be arduous, isn't it? 
Not the funnest part of baking. I'm just gonna make sure I don't get that stinking pith. Actually, someone said to try blending it. Okay, okay. I clearly don't need a lot of convincing. I'm quite impressionable, so. Oh my God. It worked. I don't wanna speak too soon, but that definitely worked. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Zess. Shout out. Oh, what was your name? Oh, what was her name? Shout out girly, darling, angel, what you called. Alex, thank you, sweetheart. Mad respect, apart from this little bit here. Also, waste not, want not, we're gonna add the juice. Pip sand all, apparently. A bit of orange extract to intensify the flavor. This is going surprisingly well. Oh, I've just jinxed it, haven't I? Do I have any? I'm sure I bought some. Oh, the mess. We are, of course, mixing the dry separately. We're gonna need a lot of flour. I think two cups at least of oat, but then I don't want it to be too chewy, dense, thick, which is what the oat will do. So I'm gonna lighten it up with a bit of almond flour. I think, think, I don't know. So yeah, gluten-free if you hadn't noticed. I've literally just had toast for breakfast, but anyway, this is a gluten-free bake. I have no reason to avoid gluten. I just like baking with gluten-free ingredients because then literally everyone can make it, you know? Um, teaspoon of baking and then half a teaspoon of bicarb. You know how it is. And here comes a little bit of almond flour. Almond flour is delicious. Do you know what flavor goes with orange? Cinnamon, also nutmeg. Now you know I'm very, very generous with the cinnamon, so we're not gonna open this little restrictive slot. We're gonna go for the, uh, the open end. I'm just hell for leather. Oh my God, <laughs> that was quite a bit. Ooh, too much. Oh well. Do you wanna try to zest the orange with a razor? A strange choice. <laughs> right, dry to the wet. Gradually, because, eh. No, but that literally tastes so good. I need other words other than so good. That's all I say. I'm curdling some milk at the moment with apple cider vinegar and almond milk. I'm just gonna let it sit until it starts to split and then I'll add it to this. Yeah, hopefully it'll rise a bit more after that. Just a little bit at a time. Oh, it's really hard to do this with one hand, by the way. There it is. Texture check. It is a thick batter, and again, it's because of the oats. Okay, so I am about to use the air fryer, which means I won't be able to speak to you while it's baking, just because the air fryer is the noisiest thing known to man. It's official. And so I'll catch you in about 25 minutes, 30 minutes, to 35, whenever I can smell burning. You have six minutes left on your 25 minute timer. I've taken it out six minutes. Oh, Alexa, I'm taking it out six minutes early because it's toasty in this room. You see, slightly charred on top. Let me get my gloves. Ooh, kind of cute though. Take the basket out. Come on. How eh? I swear this is normally really easy to do. There you go. There she is. It's just a matter of whether it's cooked all the way through. So I'll let it cool. I'm back. It's done. I'm actually watching the imitation game at half two on a Monday. I'm gonna pause it and get back to this loaf. <laughs> okay, so I did have to cut a little slice off the end just to check if it was done. But just ignoring the bit that I've cut. Ooh la la. And I have, of course, made a little syrup dressing. Look at that. That's how you do it. As you know, I enjoy being quite pretentious with my decoration, so I'm gonna add a bit of uh, flower pollen and more zest on top. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. You see, in the oven, I guarantee this would have been a 40, 50 minute job, but that air fryer, because I'm paying for my own electric bills, I'm using the air fryer a lot. Saving money. Oh my God. If you saw that sitting in a deli or a cafe or anything like that, you'd go straight for this one, wouldn't you? Three pound a slice. Minimum. Wow. The juice has leaked through into the loaf, which has made it very moist. Anyway, I'm saying taste test, like official taste test. <laughs> Pretending I haven't already tried a little bit. Ooh. Yes. The flavor is everything to me. Chocolate orange is one of my favorite flavors. I just like orange. Wow, you see that? I probably don't even need to do it again, but I will anyway because it's got that fluff, so I don't really know where else I could improve. 
This is a quick one, but thank you for watching my guys. I hope to see you soon for another bake along. This channel is slowly becoming purely bake with me, isn't it? I like it. Peace and love. See you later, bye. Mm.